Hello Aquarians and welcome to your video. So today I channeled a song um, and you're probably going to remember it from like a Swiffer Mop commercial. I don't know then that depends where you are in the world right not everybody has it but anyway they made a commercial out of it where I live and it's called Reunited by Peaches and Herb. And I'm like this is a funny name I didn't know <laughs> who sung the song. And it just makes me want to eat something after hearing it. Peaches and herb. <laughs> Whatever. But anyway, it's reunited. And it feels so good. And I kept hearing that song when I woke up. So, um, anyways, that's the song I channeled. But before I get into all that, I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful. And you're so needed in this world. Thank you for being here. And thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you. The divine values you. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So it's, um, you might be reuniting with somebody, okay? At this point, it could be anybody, right? A reunion is a reunion, all right? A reunion is a reunion. So I was guided to use, um, I have three batches of cards here that I've basically combined a lot of oracle decks together all right to see if anything wants to come out in the oracle part it doesn't mean that every single oracle card may will resonate or anything like that it could but it's just uh it's just letting you know that you know if it resonates with you that there might be something here in this reading for you or something like that so I'm using a new tarot deck it's called uh tarot in wonderland and it's by Barbara Moore um so I'm going to be using that as a sort of clarifier. Um, and I'm going to close out with the Enchanted Map for um, advice. So I'm going to get into the prayer, and then I'll get into your, to your reading. And I want to say thank you for everyone who has showed up for the video. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for the, the comments and everything. I try to show up in the chat. Sometimes things pop up. Internet's been a little wonky lately. So anyway, I'm going to get into the uh, prayer, and we'll get into your reading. Our Father in Heaven, I'd like to thank you for the many blessings you've given to myself and to everyone who's here. Thank you so much for the beautiful souls you've brought into my life. Thank you so much. I would like to ask for protection for all of us, for our loved ones, and to keep us safe from harm, evil eye, illness, or whatever we may need protection from. I also want to ask you to please give a special layer of protection to those being affected by war. Please be with those and give comfort to families and give protection to those who need it. Um, I would also like to ask for clarity and vision and permission to be able to see what it is I need to see in this reading, to be able to give clear and accurate messages uh, from your divine team. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So yeah, I just was guided to use these crazy oracle decks that I've put together. It's a compile of five different oracle decks. Don't know what's going to come out. They're not meant to be taken in reverse. So if they come out reverse, I'll use my discernment. All right. Show me what I need to see for this oracle part of the reading. Show me what I need to see for this oracle part of the reading. If you're a cross watcher dealing with an Aquarian... This, the roles could be reversed. I'm just reading energy, okay? Just reading energy. But this is definitely an energy of reunion with someone. Um, and in the future, I'm thinking about adding another... Um, not a pick a card. I'm going to do pick a cards over on Colleen Tarot. But I'm thinking about adding um, another type of spread for those who like to know about uh, finances or new love. Okay? I won't channel a song or any of that. I'll say my prayer. But I won't channel a song. Just it would be a different video that comes out in the daytime specifically targeted for a new love or for finances or something like that. That's for those who, you know, want something new, don't want my regularly channeled message. Okay. I will always do my regularly channeled message every evening. That's, that's not going to stop unless God stops me himself. New love entering your life. All right new love entering your life now when i see that this could be a reunion from a past life okay if it's a new love in this life and i channeled the song reunited this could definitely be somebody you spent another lifetime with and you might feel very close to them very drawn to them okay you might feel a connection instantly so new love 
thank you right there new love a lot of you are uh, well, you guys are kind of 50-50 at some point. You guys are, some of you looking for new love, and some of you are um, wanting to fix things with um, a particular person, okay? Whether that's love or not. Anything else want to come out here? Anything else want to come out here? Text message. All oh, right, you might be getting a text message, communication, news, phone call, direct message. That's what it says here. And cultivate you time. So it might be time for some of you to just uh, spend some time doing what you love, doing your own thing here. But we have new love entering your life and a text message. And then cultivate you time. So... It might happen. You might end up even getting a message when you're doing something alone. Okay. Um, you know, this is like a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and a book. So you might be actually doing something I feel when a message comes in from someone here. Anything else? Anything else before we get into the tarot? Anything else? All right. Oh boy, pop the question. What? Long distance. Ooh, we got some spicy stuff. There's something came out here. All right. Signs on the bottom. Someone might be seeing signs of synchronicities, all right, about a reunion. Someone might be seeing signs of synchronicities to reach out to the other person, okay? Recalibrate yourself. Think about things differently, okay? So this might be something you're doing, all right? Um, but it could be somebody who reaches out because we do have a message. So somebody might see things differently here, want to reunite, we do have long distance and I feel you. So some of you are at a distance from this person. It could literally be long distance like it says. But when it, when distance is in the heart, it feels like long distance. Even if it's somebody five minutes away. When there's distance in the heart, it just feels so, so distant and cold, right? But someone feels you. I don't care how far you are from them. They feel you and I feel that you probably feel them. And we have... Fights, arguments, and conflict, and it came out reverse. Like I said, these cards aren't really meant to be. I would use my discernment, but when I see pop the question in reverse, this might be, um, it might be somebody who is leaving a connection, and it might be somebody who wants to do this with you. So I just want to clarify that really quickly. All right, then we'll move into the tarot. Tell me about fights, arguments, and conflict. This, you see, there's a blockage there. What is this about fights, arguments, and conflict? And is it, who is it? Who is it? Hmm. Some of you are going to have a reunion with your twin flame right here. Um, or a Gemini. Okay, there's love here. Tell me about this fight, argument, conflict. Maybe you guys had a fight, argument, conflict. Somebody regrets something, though. Okay. So if there's something that happened between you and another person, it doesn't have to be a twin flame, but it's a close connection, okay? Because someone feels, um, I just heard, at a loss. Someone feels at a loss. And whatever this is, someone feels uh, regretful about how things went down here, okay? Tell me about pop the question. Tell me about pop the question. Ooh, okay, someone's getting dumped. Yikes. All righty then. <laughs> Pretty soon here. Chariot, Cancer Energy. Someone's getting kicked to the curb. Popped question in reverse. Was meant to be in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. Five of Pentacles in the upright. This is abandoned ship. 
abandon ship here when i see these other cards okay it's going to be a loss all right possibly wrapped around a ten of swords and a page of swords somebody might find something <laughs> rut row rut row okay well so somebody's not getting popped the question somebody's not going to get to pass go and collect two hundred dollars somebody is going to get caught doing something it looks like something somebody gets caught in something sneaky or deceptive here all righty then let's see well let's see and we have third person third party person somebody's been very intuitive about this okay we have pisces virgo we have uh aries leo sag somebody is very suspicious highly intuitive that something else is going on here maybe somebody's spending too much time looking at their phone and smiling but i feel this is for you <laughs> new love coming in all right this whatever this other energy is surrounding it could be them it could be you you have to use your own discernment here what's the basic issue what's the basic issue here dum 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 oh boy the emperor is in reverse ace of wands reverse and there's that text message, that eight of wands and that knight of wands. Mm -hmm. or, 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 this person isn't going to get married, not going to go forward because they see somebody is possibly texting or sexting somebody else. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing in my head, that thing that goes dum, dum, dum. Oh, boy. This is, I'm not going through with marriage. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm not going to marry somebody who is being sneaky or whatever, inconsistent, getting text messages. We must clarify. We must. This is going to be the basic issue and the other aspect, because this is what this whole reading is going to be wrapped around right here. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Somebody was dabbling in the Nine of Cups a little bit too much. So we are not going to pass go. Literally, there's a, there's a lie that gets discovered by somebody who was going to literally live the rest of their life with somebody. What? What? Yeah. Hmm. Aquarius is over here doing its own thing. And we have Queen of Swords reverse we get a cut off a cut out seven of swords there's a deception yikes yikes tell me about this i must know tell me about this knight of wands tell me about this knight of wands now it could be they just don't want to marry somebody or go through with something or you don't and somebody reaches out here tell me about this knight of wands but usually that knight of wands um justice what justice but look this person is reading something here and looking at the other person and this person's holding a sword like it's like you shouldn't be reading that what are you reading Libra energy and this king of cups over here is not very happy about it and it's going to cause them to release somebody and then guess what reunited and it feels so good right there ten of cups somebody basically gets the short end of the stick on something right here and then two people are reunited wow tell me about that eight of wands tell me about that eight of wands landed over here on justice 
four of swords reversed. So that means there's not going to be healing from this. This is like a sword going right down the crown chakra right there. It's in the reverse. This is something that can't be taken back. This is this is karmic justice, I feel, here. It's happening. Um, it's forward movement. Now, I'm going to clarify because... This could be this person coming toward you, but sometimes spirit talks to me in double meaning, which I, I love it, but I don't love it. It keeps me on my toes. Um, sometimes spirit is very trivial with me, and they will give me two messages with one with one set of cards, and literally, like, this message can be something happens, this person comes in, and they text pretty fast, okay? They feel you. Um, they, they look like they're releasing or letting someone go something go but it also could be that they have to let something or someone go because they catch somebody doing something because they no longer want to get married to whoever the third person is all right and it keeps showing up as the queen of wands well the queen of wands is my karmic third party person it's also aries little sag tell me about this justice Tell me about this justice, the Sagittarius card here with this Knight of Wands. Tell me about this. Libra, Sag, energy. That's what's getting cut off. Okay. All the way over here landed the sun reverse. Big burden. Someone's moving even. All right. So we have communication. All right. Communication. Um, this is Gemini. This is Virgo. This is Mercury energy. But someone is angry here. Somebody, okay, Knight of Cups reverse, Justice reverse. Okay, so I think it kind of is what I'm saying here, King of Cups. Somebody, I feel like somebody gets caught texting someone behind uh, someone's back here. And then somebody reaches out to the other person. There's a reunion here. And it's, it's rather soon. Cancer energy. Strong Cancer Pisces. Um, energy, but it's a close connection. Okay? It's a close connection. I just don't understand it happens after a tower. I just don't understand why it has to happen after a tower. I feel like if this is a love connection, if it's a divine counterpart, if it's a twin flame returning, I feel that... Um, a divine masculine could not reach out because as commonly we hear in the storyline, they go ghost, go in another direction or whatever. Um, but because it's such a close connection, you will fill each other. So this is that energy of somebody finds out something here. It looks like maybe texting another person, flirting, or even making a date or I don't know. There's something going on here. And then it causes them to reach out to you. And this is that double meaning that I told you Spirit tells me about. Now tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse and the Emperor reverse. The Emperor does not see three cups. This is like the Emperor sitting over here. These two are exchanging. It's like, what's going on? You know, why are you exchanging with someone else, not exchanging with me over here? And it's this Queen of Wands energy, third party, Aries Leo Sag. Tell me about the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Knight of Cups. So, I feel somebody gets caught dating, flirting, making a date. Yeah. And they're cutting this person out because they, they feel something sneaky is going on here. Their intuition is telling them something. Their intuition, it's like a mother's intuition. Maybe some of you are reuniting, reuniting with a, a child in your motherly intuition or, or a fatherly intuition, whoever. Uh, but whatever it is, it doesn't have to have anything to do with a the child. There's something about an intuition, but I just said motherly because it looks like a mother's intuition with the kid there. Fathers have intuition too, believe it. Um, but we definitely have someone is suspicious. 
someone is suspicious possibly because there's some texting or something going on here tell me about the emperor ten of wands moving it's a burden for this person. Um, so there might be this Emperor Divine Masculine energy who could be your twin flame. Doesn't have to be. Could be. It is definitely someone who is like, you guys are like this, at least in spirit. And they're coming back. For whoever this resonates with, this is a general reading. But they're coming back. And there's my divinely guided brother. I have to talk to you later, bro. Um, they are finding out something and it looks like like another person you know is going on a date with someone else because it feels like it doesn't feel like or dating someone else is there's some energy around dating there's some energy around this this is why this emperor doesn't want to go forward with somebody what's the root higher level um, taking higher timelines there's something about a nine of cups in reverse here um, somebody has been indulgent and it might be someone they've connected with whatever it is now we have judgment and the seven of swords so it's in the reverse they might even find out about it okay um, the will of fortune is reversed the ten of pentacles is upright the Queen of Pentacles is upright. The Eight of Pentacles is upright. And the Two of Pentacles. Somebody is not... Something isn't going as planned here. This is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So as far as I'm concerned, it might as well be like Saturn reverse. Or someone could be going through a Saturn return. Especially if they're between the ages of 27 to 30, 57 to 60. It could be like something coming back here. Some sort of lesson that needs to be learned. And I feel somebody was planning on living their life with somebody here. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn doesn't have to be. But this is a lot of pinnacles. This is a lot of investment. This is a lot of focus. Now, somebody's in their decision time here. It's like, I need to think about this because of this Wheel of Fortune reverse. Now, I need to find out what that Wheel of Fortune is trying to say. Because this was going to be a lifetime project. It was going to be a lifetime decision. It was going to be forever. It was going to grow. It was going to leave a legacy, a family tree. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed? That is Sagittarius energy. What's found out here? Why? Why is it? Why is it? It's, it might even be karma. This I feel like it's sort of some sort of karmic justice. Something had to be found out. Somebody sees things differently, and maybe now they're like, "Wow, I cut off, I cut off Aquarius." Or the cross watcher, whoever this is resonating for. I cut, cut off Aquarius because of whatever. And um, look what this other person is doing. All right. That fell on the ground. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. It, it's like, it can be like a flirty message. It can be like a message. If somebody made a date on their phone to meet with somebody or something comes in like that. I don't know if someone spies and checks on their phone. We did have the Page of Swords. There's, some, there's something that goes on. But the bottom line is Ace of Cups Reverse. Somebody realizes... They don't love the other person. The other person doesn't love them. If someone's flirting, texting, sexting someone else. Somebody's like, hey. And it's this emperor. It's divine masculine. Yang. Whether male or female. Saying, hey, I don't want to spend the rest of my life with somebody who's out there flirting with someone else. Even if they haven't done anything. Even if they were just going to go on a date. They're thinking. It puts them in a two of pentacles. I don't know. I better rethink about this. I don't know if I want to marry someone like that. What's the past? Three of pentacles might be somebody from work. They might even be saying, oh, this is uh, a dinner date. It's a it's a work meeting. It's a, We're going to discuss this. But someone's intuition is saying there's something more to it than that. There's something more to it than that. Tell me about this. 
Yeah. Or maybe they find them somewhere. I don't know because it ends up being a Knight of Swords and an Ace of Cups reverse. So, Game Changer, Scorpio Energy, the Death card, Transformation. Recent past is something happened to change this whole situation. And it seems like what has happened here. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Reverse, Knight of Pentacles. And the Upright, this is Virgo Energy and this Ten of Cups Reverse is saying what's happening now is this isn't going to be my forever person. I'm not happy to be with a person like this. Something that could have been going on for a while. Um, possibly with a Leo. We have the Sun card and we have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords, somebody could have been playing mind games. Somebody could have... Um, been pretending that they were happy with a person or a situation or leading someone on and the other person was really ready to pop the question, really ready to go all the way and then something gets exposed. And maybe that this person had others, was dating others, even if it's online dating, online sexting or, or whatever. And then this person's like, no, you don't love me. Uh-uh-uh. You don't love me. I don't want to marry you. So something happened here in the recent past. For sure. And whatever that is, it seems to lead to your reunion or it will happen. Okay, timelines are different. Um, it could have happened here in the recent past. But if this is a future read for somebody else, it could be something that's happening about now. Time and tarot never really play out for me. Yeah, the High Priestess reverse. Nine of Pentacles. So somebody finds something out here. And they become single because of it. And it definitely seems like there's, uh, you know, some flirting or something going on. Or somebody was dating others. Maybe they were supposed to be exclusive and somebody was not exclusive. And it seems like this is why this person does not want to get married, does not want to go all the way. And this was a person, they were, they, they put a lot of intention and focus in this person. And they were definitely planning to go all the way. Long-term relationship. And then this happened. And it's going to lead to this breakup, this Two of Cups. Now, timelines are different, you know? If this was a person that you went through this with, maybe this is a person who wants to come back. Um... After going through this, I don't know. Or if they did this to you. But I really sense that, see, you weren't karmic and they're leaving a karmic. You're not karmic. They find, they find out something. Yeah, you're not karmic. So if this were to happen, this is not, um, the karmic card wouldn't show up so much. Now, this could be a person that ghosted you, went in another direction. And, you know, that is the person now. They are getting a karmic lesson, literally from a karmic. And they find out. Four of Swords in the reverse is what crowns it. The chariot in reverse. Somebody realizes I don't want to go forward. Okay. Chariot reverse, cancer energy, the hangman Pisces energy. And it's like somebody's like thinking about trying to, someone's trying to figure this out here. Someone's trying to put two and two together here. So someone may have been in this sort of energy for a while because that Knight of Pentacles was out. And somebody's like, I think it's time. Uh, someone's definitely, this is where it's at. Someone is thinking about, Becoming single, all right, and someone is realizing that they cut out Aquarius, if Aquarius is a twin flame here, the lovers reverse, or cut out a Gemini, Aquarius energy, um, and it could be this earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, and this is where this person is like, well, maybe I need to put this pinnacle back on the shelf, <laughs> maybe I need to put this one back where it came from and reach, and we have Aquarius now, where Aquarius has raised their boundaries raise their standards Aquarius also has a lot of options Aquarius also is looking pretty good um, an Aquarius has people being drawn to their energy for whatever reason okay Aquarius is not dealing with mind games right now 
tell me about this cherry in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles, and we have what looks like two Pentacles there, and then we have what looks like mirroring as well in the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. Might be a Virgo who put the brakes on something. It might be a Virgo who's coming back, if you were dealing with one. Tell me about the Hangman. The Lovers, there we go. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody gets single and then somebody reunites with a twin flame. Or a Gemini. Could be a Gemini. Because I have a Knight of Swords here too. So someone could be reuniting with a Gemini. But definitely the person that they thought they were going to spend the rest of their life with. Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse. Two of Cups is in the reverse. Somebody gets caught, y'all. <laughs> Somebody gets caught. And it's even if they don't, they don't get caught in the act. But they get caught. It seems like more or less they get caught texting, sexting. This person's highly suspicious. Okay. And highly intuitive. All right. Um, so there's something to that. And it's like, it causes uh, Reunited. I just keep, you know, I, it's that song in my head, Reunited, and it feels so good. So maybe it feels good for them to reunite with you because I see you as doing your thing. as a lie. Look, the near future also. So if for those who it hasn't happened to yet, some it's recently happened okay recently here and for some it's here in the near future this lie gets exposed they find out about a lie it landed on all this so the emperor finds out about a lie but the emperor all along knew high priestess energy here they knew it they felt it you know like it says here i feel you they felt it they felt a lot Wow. Wow, y'all. This is crazy. Give me some cards to clarify this lie. Ace of Swords, Reverse. High Priestess. Nine of Cups. Somebody was indulging a bit too much here. Five of Wands. Landed on the Justice card. This is Karmic Justice that's happening. Somebody... That was, is very close to you, okay, very close to you, got hooked up in a karmic lesson, a karmic situation. And that karmic lesson, that karmic situation has really taught this person some kind of major lesson because this person wants to come back and reunite with you. Wh whoever it is, it doesn't even got to be a lover, twin flame, but it was someone you were very close with. And this person... Even, um, this person looks very controlling, sort of, even though this is justice here. This person, like, you know, like, let's say this is the emperor. This emperor feels small next to this person, you know, like, this person's energy just seems like, you know, um, leads their life with the hand of the sword. Like, they just will cut your head off, literally, if you do or say something that they don't like. And this is who the energy they were dealing with over here. That's an energy that would have been between you and them. That's the energy that also has done something sketchy and deceptive to them. And they find something out about it, or it could happen here in the near future. It shows the timeline. It could be happening now, recent past, or, or near future, because it's here. It's right here, all in the, the center Literally, this is current, recent, past, and near future. So, timelines, it's about to happen for all of these masculines who are dealing with someone like that. Yikes. What's the self-position? What's the self-position? They're getting single. <laughs> They're going from planning a family and planning to be with this person forever to becoming single. Becoming single and independent. Yeah, and this is what you don't see. This was face down to Seven of Swords. That's what makes them really think here. And that is what makes them decide to become single. Like I said, they may have not caught this person fully in the act, but they've caught enough to know 
they've caught enough to know there's something here. There's something here. Tell me about the self-position, please. Let me clarify. You saw how it landed over here on the Knight of Swords? Two of Wands, they make a decision. They cut that person off quick. Because their intuition tells them something, and plus they've seen something. Something isn't right. And then here's that reunion. They're single, but then here's that reunion. They sort of look back and they realize there was something about a house of cards here. They look back and they realize it was destined to fall. But it also makes them think about you. Yep. They, they get clarity then about you. Maybe you told them something. I don't know. Maybe you warned them. All right. What's the environment? What's the environment? Letting go. Eight of Swords. Reverse. Clarify that Eight of Swords. Reverse. They get free. Two of Cups. Yep. They get free from that situation. And then there you go. Reunited. You guys might look very different. Appear very different. Have an age difference. You know we have a rabbit and we have a person. Okay. We have. Um, but both. You know. Both of these are dressed in suits. So they're. You, you have things in common. But you probably don't look like you do. Anyway, the environment is there leaving someone, and here is Aquarius, and we have Aquarius Virgo here. Interesting. What's in the hope and the fear? What's in the hope and the fears? Okay. Seven of Wands. It landed over here on the Hermit. You know, a Virgo could have been resisting you. This person could have been going through something. It doesn't have to be a Virgo at all, but it's a Seven of Wands. This is a card of resistance, but it's also a card of defending oneself. Someone here is in the hope and the fear of maybe fighting for this, being strong enough to, but it's hard. Like whoever, whoever is coming toward the other person, divine masculine energy, yang energy, um, they just got played or will. They get played, they get betrayed. Tell me about this. With somebody they planned on spending the rest of their life with. Ten of Pentacles is here twice. They got they got betrayed by a person. They really wanted to be with this person. Now they're gonna yeah, now they're gonna find themselves just sort of sitting alone with the pets here. A lot have been coming out about the pets. I feel um, the pets are coming around during these hard times of breakups and depression and loneliness. The pets are coming around for whoever. What's the outcome look like? What's the outcome look like here for this reading? What's the outcome look like? Return. <laughs> Return and justice. Karmic justice is what's about to happen. This person remembers they always had you in their life. And it's not to say that they can come back. Remember, and look at that once to come out. New beginning, um, an opportunity, a relationship. And, you know, it can be any kind of relationship. It can be a friendship. It can just be moving on uh, as platonic friends. Okay. This was another connection that was between you guys. This was a connection that ended up betraying them. I think that this person sees that you never betrayed them. And they want to return. If nothing else, you know, it just feels good. It just feels good to return to your energy. Because I feel that you were genuine. You were authentic. You didn't play them. You didn't betray them. You were just straight out, straight up with them. So shoot from the hip type of thing. Um, so they're coming back. <laughs> and for those uh, where there is, you know attraction this person is is obsessed with talking with you again seeing you again that could have capricorn in their chart but um this is a person who may have had some sort of toxic ways about them as well this might be someone who is trying to um 
recover with this uh, nine of wands. Okay, this wounded warrior card. This might be a person who's trying to recover from a karmic situation. But I feel with these two cards here, they're very obsessed with returning at least to talk. You, these two are having a toast and having a face-to-face -face conversation. And I think that's more important than anything. And maybe have a meal together. Maybe even outside. Tell me about the outcome and then we'll get into your advice. I want to thank everybody who's come to view the video. I want to thank everyone who showed up in the chat. I'm going, I'm plan to be here. You'll know by this time if I was here, something happened. I couldn't come last night. Ace of Cups. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. They're leaving somebody, you guys. That's all I can tell you. They know that you were the person, you could have been a mother, okay, Queen of Cups is that, but they they know that you are the person who always had genuine love for them. You don't have to, um, you know, Queen of Cups is a loving energy, and she's intuitive, and he's intuitive, whoever is in that Queen of Cups energy. And they see you as that person who always had love for them, okay, genuine, authentic love. And there is someone who's out, and it's whoever they plan to spend the rest of their life with. This person is out. This person screws up. This person has already had an intuition that they were getting played. They just didn't prove, couldn't prove it. But they find out enough. They find out enough. And innocently enough, I don't feel like they're trying to spy on them because that page of swords was in the upright. It wasn't in the reverse. So whatever they find out, they find out legitimately. Like they weren't looking for it. It just appeared and they find it out. And it's a ten of swords. So what's the advice? All right. So the advice, we have 13 on the bottom, solitude. They're going to spend some time alone to do some thinking. All right. To themselves. And I left the book in here. What came out face up is education. And what came out face down is golden place, heal the ouch, and metamorphosis. And I'm not going to read these cards. I can tell you what they mean by looking at the pictures. This person has awakened. They've come to their golden place. They have arrived, okay? When you get to the golden place, you have arrived. And what they're realizing is there's something that can't be healed. They can't heal and transform what they found out this other person was doing. Now, 35, education. This is, I feel that they got, they found out something, but let's see. In the upright, wisdom comes from participating in life, not just reading about it. This card suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what you seek, the direction to take, or your circumstances, or the nature of your inquiry. Important information is coming. Now is the time to go to school, ask a person who might know more than you, or find a teacher or course to study so that you can more clearly understand the next right action. But what I heard when I was reading this was... This person had to live it, all right? If this is your twin flame, they had to go through a karmic lesson to live. They had to live it. In other words, they couldn't read this in a book. They couldn't read this, learn this any other way other than to actually go through it and experience it themselves. And um, now they know, or they will know here soon, because this is the timeline. In tarot, this is the timeline, past, present, and future. So at some point, they're going to learn this lesson. They had to learn it the hard way. No one could tell them about this at all. Anyway, thank you guys for coming. I love you and namaste, my friends.